Hello, it's the 13th of May, I'm in the orchard, it's an overcast uh, day, quite cool now for May, uh, after an extremely warm uh, April. Uh, I am often asked about spraying, and uh, this is a controversial issue. I know that some people have very strong feelings about it. I have written about uh, the whole issue of pests and diseases um, uh, in, the, in the section of that name on the fruitwise.net uh, website. Uh, I don't want to go into a long lecture here, but just say a little bit about what we're doing at the moment. Uh, this year, the, the apple trees, uh, I mean, the pears are in a slightly different category because they've blossomed earlier. I'll show the pears in a little while. Um, the apple trees have had one spray, and it was just fungicide, only fungicide. Now, a standard regime would be fungicide plus insecticide twice before blossom. Uh, these have had one spray before blossom and that was just fungicide. We try to uh, take it to the absolute limit and use the least amount that we can and there are several reasons for that. Firstly, it's poisonous. Uh, you don't want to, you know, there are loads of issues about it. Secondly, it's very, very expensive. I mean, some of this stuff is, you know, £100 for a litre bottle of the concentrate. Thirdly, the regulations are very severe and that is one reason why I will not be drawn, so don't, don't ask me on specific compounds uh, I can't teach people uh, the regulations I mean you have to live in England to understand how severely regulated this country is and how many busybodies there are watching you all the time uh, uh, no politics no politics um, but anyway, uh, we haven't hit with insecticide yet, and another reason for doing that was uh, because we've got a big ladybird population. One of our worst pests is uh, the rosy apple aphid. Uh, ladybirds eat aphids, so they are our friends, and we wanted to really go easy on the insecticide this year. So we haven't used any insecticide on these trees yet, um, which may be something to do with, maybe partly why we've got a problem with... Um, uh, you see these leaves, they're sort of stuck together and a bit maggot, moth, a bit sort of stuck up, a bit moth-eaten. Uh, I'm looking here for um, a, uh, there ought to be um, a, a caterpillar around here somewhere. No, I can't find it. Maybe it's crept off. Uh, hang on. See the two leaves stuck together there? Let's see if that's one of the vermin creeping around there. Hello! There we are. I thought as much. And goodbye, squelch. And uh, yeah, that was a winter moth caterpillar. And there's another a couple of leaves stuck together. Can you see that? Uh, and yes, believe it or not, there is another one of the little creeps. Hey, so what? Where's Joni Mitchell? Joni, Joni, come and sing a song. Hey now farmer, put away the DDT now. Give me spots on my apples and let me have maggots and vermin creeping all over my fruit. I'll pay double. Um, yeah, or, or as the case may be. Yeah, uh, so we've got, okay, so we've got a minor problem with um, uh, winter moth. Uh, you can see that these have got lots of holes chewed in them. This is winter moth. Oh, there's a little... Um, I don't know if you can see that chappy there. That's one of the, another one of the bugs. Uh, that, uh, it's a little weevil. I'm, I don't even know the exact name of it. That's a weevil there. Um, again, it's a bit more of the same. Uh, holes chewed in that apple. Underneath, leaf folded over. No, I can't see the cat pillar there. So, um, yeah, maybe some more. But on the whole, this is looking really quite clean, quite decent. Another couple of leaves stuck together, I wonder if we'll find anything there. Uh, bit of damage. It's not catastrophic. Uh, you know, I'm very, very sympathetic to the ideals of the Green Movement. I'm really sympathetic to them. Uh, but so these trees didn't get any insecticide. And so on this one tree I've just found, what is it, sort of four or five capitalists. Let's squash that one four or five capillaries in a weevil, there's a certain amount of damage. Now, the damage that I can see is not so terribly severe. If it was even twice as bad, it wouldn't be that bad. There's another little creep there. A little green weevil, squash him. Uh, the damage we can see here isn't terrible, but if it was twice as bad, it would be starting to become, you know, a problem. If it was four times as bad, it'd start to be a real problem. 
And if it was 10 times as bad, then that would be what we had in the early days of the orchard before we started using insecticide, when you know we had a 100% loss of crop. So, uh, you know, the whole argument or series of arguments about um, uh, using, um, using insecticide or, and fungicide or not using them, uh, I think we should go with the evidence, I really do, rather than with um, quasi-religious beliefs of the Green Movement, you know, work with nature, not against her. I ask you, would you say that if you saw a sore-scaled viper about to bite your baby daughter? <laughs> oh, well, it's only natural selection after all, we can always have another one. Um, you know, in the end, the principles are the same. Um, you know, as people know, I'm a physician. I uh, am involved in the provision of um, healthcare services for people. And uh, amongst the healthcare services which people uh, request are um, contraception services and the treatment of infections and vaccination. Now, modern medical science, and I know there are people who have different views about absolutely everything, um, but uh, the provision of family planning services, uh, the use of antibiotics and uh, vaccination of children against childhood diseases like diphtheria that used to kill scores and scores of children um, and, and that sort of thing. Okay, we, in, in a perfect world we'd prefer not to have to bother about uh, that sort of thing but this is not a perfect world and again if you want to uh, have fresh uh, decent uh, crops of fruit and vegetables and uh, indeed cereals then um, just as we you know, may need an antibiotic if we get sick, just as we use um, vaccines to eliminate filthy, killing, crippling diseases like polio, by the same token, we do need to use some uh, crop protection. It's all the same kind of thing. And yes, of course, we want to use as little as we can, but I've just shown you around at this tree um, and found half a dozen um, over half a dozen winter moth maggots. Half a dozen is tolerable. 20 would be a problem. 50 of the so-and-sos would be enough to completely destroy every last piece of blossom on this tree and we would then have no fruit. So what do you think I'm going to do about it?